Hi guys, so today let's talk about natural bronzer application. I am releasing videos um, for each step of my makeup routine. So I already released a concealer uh, of how to apply natural concealer. I'll link it above somewhere up here. And um, now today I'm gonna talk about the next step, which would be bronzer. Um, I'll also re be releasing one for contouring, for blushing, and then also um, for the eyebrows and maybe powder as well. Uh, but today we're talking about bronzer. Before we jump into it, if you do enjoy this video, please like my video. If you guys have any questions, you guys can comment down below. If you like my channel, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you guys want to follow me on any social media, you guys can follow me at Daniel's Vibe on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Okay, so when it comes to bronzer, I typically don't like to bronze too much in the summer because I'm already tan, so I have a pretty nice tan going on. So um, during the summer, I tend to skip bronzer and go more for just contouring but I wanna show you guys how to naturally bronze up your skin. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you, I think I have like three different types of bronzers that I have with three different shades from three different brands. I do have the KVD and this is the medium cool. Um, this is the gel contour. So this isn't meant to be a contour, but for me, um, this is more of a bronzer it has a beautiful even though it looks gray there kind of it has a beautiful reddish undertone and i will swatch it for you guys so you guys can see what i'm talking about i love this i love using using this at night it just gives a cool brownish red tone to the skin it's beautiful and then here we have the makeup by mario this is the soft gold in medium comes with a brush as well never use it and then this is the bondi bay from new sticks this one's just a straight up um i always forget this is the brush side never use it as well this one i typically only use it straight up for bronzer because it, this one is has a very reddish orangish undertone i for sure can't use this as a contour this one i can do it like as a bronzer contour type of vibe um, but this one's strictly just for bronzer. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so I went ahead and swatched them for you. And here we have the KVD in the shade medium. Cool. And then here we have the Makeup by Mario, which is in the shade medium as well. And then we have the new stick, which is the Bondi Bay. Now, um, Obviously, you guys can see the difference. These two for sure can work as contour, which they're kind of meant for as a soft contour bronzer type of situation. And then this one's just straight up bronzer. And um, again, this one I love using at night. This one I love using it as um, if I'm doing like a bronzer contour type of vibe during the day or whatnot. And then this one is just if I really want to look like really nice and golden, this is a beautiful shade. So this is the one that I will be using today on the face since we are doing, you know, a bronze. This is a bronzer video. Um, and again, you just want to have options because um, if you want your bronzer to look the most natural, um, you want to have something for you know during the day also something that's going to look good at night and you just want to have options okay now we're going to talk about how to apply it on the face when it comes to applying it to the face uh i don't mind using it straight from the stick um but to get the best most natural application what i always suggest is you know swiping it on the palm of your hand and then just blending it with your finger and then grabbing a fluffy um, brush. This is the Refero 4, love this brush. It's angled so you can be very precise with your bronzer. Um, also, it's very fluffy. It's just a really good brush. It's light on the head, it's not too big, so it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some from the palm of my hand and 
put it on my brush and then we're gonna go ahead and then just with the softest hand blend it on the forehead and then you just want to make sure you bring it into that hairline because I've done the mistake where I don't and you can just see that the, sh the skin tone is not matching the hairline so you just want to bring it to the towards the hairline and then also you don't ever want to forget the side of your face so you want to bring it here down here so when you bronze you you don't using it you're not using it as a contour you're basically you're gonna try to bronze up as much as you can from all over the face and um, so you're gonna make sure you do not you don't forget your ears so we're gonna go ahead and apply some on the ears and then we're also gonna bring it down the neck and again try using the softest motion so that way you're just not blending it all away and again bronzer don't be too precise you don't have to be precise um, you can just make sure you're doing a soft blend bringing it all over the face and now we're going to do it on the other side as well I love this uh, Bondi Bay, it's just the perfect color for me. Again, we're gonna bring it on the neck. Okay, so now that we've applied the bronzer on the perimeter of our face, now we're gonna bring it to the center of the face. And that's where it gets tricky. Um, you don't wanna apply too much because uh, then you're just gonna look basic, like you dumped your face in bronzer. So you just wanna Grab the tiniest amount. If anything, just bring what you have from the perimeter of your face to the center of the face. So basically, we're just going to sweep it on the face. And I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. This Bondi Bay just gives like the most beautiful, natural, reddish, brownish color. It's just really nice. This formula is beautiful. It's also um, powdery finish, so it's good for oily skin. And it's just beautiful. And another thing you can do with your bronzer, which would still look natural, is bringing it on the eyelids. So basically you just grab some eye, want to grab more of a precise brush for that but this is the NARS brush I honestly don't know I believe they're discontinued but anyways just gonna grab some with this brush not that much and just apply it just gonna place it on the eyelid and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it and I'm gonna remove some excess from the brush because I did grab a lot, a lot, and now we're just gonna go ahead and blend it. And what this does, it just gives a really nice definition to your eyes, and it looks very natural. And that's it, that's it, that's the finished look when it comes to bronzing the face. Um, I love the finished look. I am wearing concealer and I did put some brow product as well. Um, I skipped on blush. And just some final tips, when we're applying bronzer, we just wanna make sure you're not getting, the bronzer, again, is supposed to be a wash of golden bronzy color on your face, not a patch of brown or red or golden on your skin. Again, not saying that's wrong for people who like that. So that's just if you want a natural type of no makeup makeup look, you want a soft, let me zoom you guys in actually. So I hope you guys can see. You really can't tell where I applied bronzer. It's just a soft wash 
of color on my skin and that's the type of finish you want you, again you don't want like a if you want a natural type of finish you want something not you know like a big old stripe of bronzer or something that's very you can tell it's like three different tones on your skin you can tell where the blush is where the bronzer is no you just want everything to, to blend seamlessly on your neck on your ears across your face um love how this finish came out it just looks really nice and again that bondi bay chef's kiss and um yeah this is just i guys i typically don't I'm not this precise when it comes to my makeup but because i really want to share the type of application that i use which i know it works on me because i never get called out on wearing makeup which i'm not saying that's um, if people can tell that I'm wearing makeup, I can care less. But it's just good to know that. That means that my techniques are working. So I just want to share with, share this knowledge with you guys. And again, just try to use the softest blend. And let me know. You, let me tell me if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. If you guys maybe have. Some other tri tricks that you guys can give me, but I'm loving this finished look. Okay, let me go ahead and um, zoom you guys back out. And another thing, guys, I just want to throw out a disclaimer. I am not a makeup artist, so um, take these tips just for what they are. Tips coming from a makeup beauty lover. These are just um, tips and tricks that work on me, on my skin tone, and, and things that I've learned throughout the years that I've been wearing makeup um the videos that i've watched so these are just things that i've taken over time that i want to share with you guys i hope this was helpful to some of you out there um if you guys have any tips for me please feel free to let me know um also let me know if you guys use these tricks on with your makeup routine if you guys have any questions on anything i use or on anything comment down below i'll be linking everything i used on the description box and again, um, if you enjoyed this video, like my video. If you enjoy my channel, subscribe to my channel. Also, you guys can follow me on any social media at Daniels5 on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you, and um, I'm done with you guys. Bye.